Hi everybody, good Saturday afternoon to you. Welcome to spring break and welcome to the second game of our VibeFortBend.com doubleheader. I'm Roger Smith with you at peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek where the Austin Bulldogs have jumped out to a lead of three to one over the Angleton Wildcats in a non-district game. Will Liner is at first base. He has singled here in the bottom of the third. And just now a pop-up Ryan Dugas just popped up. He's the DH batting for pitcher James Garza, who is pitching a gym. But now you got Logan Witt. He's number seven and the left fielder standing in against the Angleton Wildcats. We had the Angleton Wildcats for you earlier this week. They had a game against Kempner on Monday night, which they won handily. Seven to one, as I recall. So the right-handed hitting Logan Witt stands in and he has a count of 2-0 and on it. And the Angleton fans thinking that maybe, maybe that should have been a strike. Pitch on the way, curveball, that's in there. Starting pitcher is Demarcus Randall for the Angleton Wildcats. I'm pretty sure, he's standing sideways. I just walked into the ballpark. Nope, that's not who it is, it's number 18. And on my Angleton baseball roster, I don't have an 18. It goes from 16 to 19. So during the break, I guess I'll have to check on that with one of the fans. As Logan Witt hits a tapper foul, the count is now three and two. Two outs here in the bottom of the third and your Austin Bulldogs on top of the Angleton Wildcats by a score of three to one. Angleton got one run in the top of the first, haven't had anything since off the Bulldogs starter James Garza, as Witt takes a called strike three, and that ends the third inning. You're on VibeFortBend.com. We've got the Angleton Wildcats visiting the Austin Bulldogs. Earlier today, we had the Elkins Knights traveling to Shadow Creek where the Sharks won the game by a score of nine to five. So for the day, it is Brazoria County one, Fort Bend County nothing. The dogs need to even it up. That's my friend Mark Sherman on the PA, listen to him. That's right, vibefortbend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. We'll step aside and be back with the top of the fourth. Again, Angleton, Trailing the Austin Bulldogs three to one. Hey, Becky G, can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds, faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi and other fast speed options. Get started with Xfinity Internet 50 megabits per second for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Plus, add Xfinity Mobile and you could save hundreds a year on wireless. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 331.22. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and X-Fi gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares optimized pricing of top carriers. Xfinity Internet required. Well, James Garza continuing to work masterfully for the Austin Bulldogs as he records the first out before our commercial break was even over. Jason Jones hit a ground ball out over to the left side of the infield where Logan Witt scooped it up and threw across. And now here we go with Reagan James, who was the pitching hero on Monday night when Angleton beat up on Kempner. Was that Wednesday night? Yeah, I guess it was. No, it was Monday. That's right. Angleton beat Kempner on Monday with Reagan James as the pitching hero. Took the first pitch for a ball and the second pitch from the right-hander Garza to the left-hander James is a curve ball outside. 2-0 and actually, 2-0. and And that one also outside, just a duplicate of the previous pitch and it's three and nothing. 
Will they give Reagan James the green light here? Pitch on the way. He lets it go. It's a called strike on the outside corner. It would be good for me to tell you what we have coming up later this week. That pitch is low, and Reagan James draws a walk. The designated hitter, Hayden Hibbets. Hayden Hibbets, the designated hitter. Sometimes he plays at third base, but uh, I always like alliteration in names. So it's absolutely good to have, you know, First name and last name start with the same letter. Hibbett swings and misses at the first pitch and a snap throw down by DeSega. And Mark Sherman applies the tag, but Reagan James got back to the bag. We're kind of coming in here on the fly, and it's not going to sound like the normal broadcast with lots of stats and things like that. And there's a curveball that doesn't break, and low bridge. Hibbett has to duck to make sure it doesn't hit him in the coconut. Brian Lostraco is the head coach of the Angleton Wildcats. He's down in the third base coaching box. Runner at first with one out, and there goes that runner. Hibbets lifts a fly ball to right field, and this should be no problem and is no problem for Will Liner. He makes the catch, gets it back in, and Reagan James has to retreat to first base. Now there are two outs. Now it's Kay Dobbs, the freshman. Dobbs came in in relief. Finishing off that game against Kempner earlier this week when it was a school night. And, hey, no more school nights from now until, let's see, now until the 20th, which is a week from tomorrow. There's a ground ball towards second. Scoop and the force at second. Nice job over there. Greg Cuevas scooped it up and threw it to Harrison Golden. And one harmless base runner, we move on to the bottom of the third inning. And the dogs are leading by three to one over Angleton. We'll be right. First Tire and Auto celebrates spring with the big tire sale. It is big, big, big. Buy three tires and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the high school sports fans as we cheer on all student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland. They take care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. And Mark Sherman leads it off for the dogs here in the bottom of the fourth. I said wrong before I went to that break. It's a hard ground ball up the middle to the shortstop. And he is quickly thrown out. One pitch, one out here in the bottom of the fourth for the Austin Bulldogs. They lead it three to one. Now Greg Cuevas, the second baseman for the Dogs. Left-handed hitter, and O'Quinn brings the first pitch. It is Bryce O'Quinn on the mound. A call up and doing pretty well thus far. Three to one is the score, Austin on top of Angleton. Cuevas an excuse me swing and he Foul tips it over to the on-deck circle on the left. And his teammate Hampton Phillips has to get out of the way. 
One and one the count on Cuevas, whose dad came up and asked me if I needed anything as I arrived late, but you know, I had a reason. Had to go do that game between Elkins and Shadow Creek, so it's, as I said, Brazoria County one, Fort Bend County nothing, and VibeFortBend.com broadcast today. But the dogs are in a position to change that, and Cuevas takes a pitch downstairs. Two and one is the count. Oh boy. Cuevas digs in. O'Quinn delivers. Just missed the outside corner. Dogs wearing their home white baseball pants, the black jersey tops with the night uh, white numerals outlined in red. There's a pitch high. Now that I look closer, the numerals don't have any red. But on the front, it says Austin in red letters outlined in white. Now you know. Here's Hampton Phillips who hit a triple to drive home two runs his last time up. And that's really the difference in this ball game. Speed on the base paths with Cuevas who just drew the walk. Phillips looks at a pitch down and away and a nice job of blocking it by the catcher. That's Preston Wilson. And there is a ground ball toward the right side. Could be two. On to second for one. And the relay to first. And a double play by Angleton. Puts out any kind of Austin threat here in the bottom of the fourth. Boy, I should have gotten here sooner. The game is going very quickly. It is three to one. Austin Bulldogs on top. And coming up, the bottom, uh, the top rather, of the fifth for the visiting Angleton Wildcats. We shall return. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. James Vargas pitching a gym. He got the win in a game we broadcasted last Saturday as the Bulldogs beat Morton Ranch 11 to one. This a non-district game just like that one, although not a tournament game. Evan Farr comes up for Angleton. Right-handed hitter with a lot of power. Speaking of power, well, I guess I'll say it the next time Mark Sherman comes up to bat. Vargas starts him with a curveball and just misses away. Righty working to righty. Angleton in the gray road uniform pants. The light purple tops with the gray numerals and letters. Breaking ball, and that looked pretty good, but for whatever reason, it's 2-0. and oh. I heard a couple of OMGs back there, and that makes perfect sense. Vargas shakes off a sign from Eros de Siga, his catcher.
All right, uh, sorry I went silent there. That that was inadvertent. And it is O'Quinn, Bryce O'Quinn, lashing a single to left field. Turns first, and no, he's not going to try to turn it into a double. So with one out, Angleton is trailing three to one, but they have something to work in here. As Callan Frazier will come up, he's a sophomore. Eros DeSiga, the catcher for the Bulldogs, steps out in front of the plate and has some signals for the infield. They're at double play depth. And O'Quinn, the pitcher, comes off. He's replaced by a courtesy runner, Jacob Monocle. And ever the professional, Mark Sherman calls out the name Jacob Monocle and pronounces it correctly. I know because I asked his coach before the Kempner game. There's a quick throw over. Garza comes set. Swing and a high drive to left field. This could be trouble, but it's going to hang up. Woo, that was close. Logan Witt makes the catch and sends it on back in. Matthew Uribe, Matthew Uribe, Uribe comes up. <laughs> so this is the top of the fifth and Angleton trailing three to one and this kind of feels like a district game I've seen a lot of double digit blowouts and of course uh, anybody who watched or played a high school game last night thought they might come out not alive you know it was the worst weather I've ever seen for a high school game in my life as we had the dullest game against Huntsville and the Hornets won that one 13 to four. Pitch on the way, high pop up on the infield. Is it gonna be Harrison Golden? No, it'll be Doe, the third baseman. He's got it. You know, I talked to his dad a minute ago. That's why he made the catch to retire the side in the top of the fifth. It is still three to one, dogs on top of Angleton. I promise not to go silent during this commercial break. This is VibeFortBend.com. Hey, Becky G, can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds, faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi and other fast speed options. Get started with Xfinity Internet 50 megabits per second for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Plus, add Xfinity Mobile and you could save hundreds a year on wireless. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 331.22. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and XFi gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares optimized pricing of top carriers. Xfinity Internet required. First Tire and Auto celebrates spring with the big tire sale. It is big, big, big. Buy three tires and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the high school sports fans as we cheer on all student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, we're back. We are not going to start this inning silently. See, there's this little cursor thing and in bright sunlight, sometimes you can't see where your cursor is and if it hovers over the little speaker that mutes you, then you get muted. And we all know how painful that can be. Well, most of us anyway. Eros DeSiga, the catcher for the Bulldogs, leads it off in the bottom of the fifth. He had a homer last Saturday against the Morton Ranch 
Mavericks. And that first pitch rattles all the way back to the screen. It's still Bryce O'Quinn out there on the mound for the Angleton Wildcats. And coming over to get the ball uh, was Will Liner. Down and away with the next pitch, and the count is should be two and zero. Oh. Scoreboard says one and one. Should be two and zero. Oh. O'Quinn rocks and fires. It's a little tapper down the third base line, but it trickles into the foul territory grass. Two and one. The count. Eros DeSiga with the white shoes, kind of like Joe Namath or Billy White Shoes Johnson. The 2-1, down and in, and it gets through the catcher again, but no harm, nobody on base. 3-1, the Austin Bulldogs, who on the first night of district play will travel to Austin Tuesday night. Swing and a miss by DeSiga. And the catcher couldn't handle that pitch, and it went on back to uh, the catcher, and he threw down to first base. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not on top of my game. But I can tell you there's one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Tyler Doe, top of the order, stands in, the third baseman. Squeeze that pop up to end the top of the fifth, and now here he stands, big breaking ball. In there for a strike, and it had a lot of movement on it because the catcher couldn't catch it cleanly. So it'll be Austin at Travis Tuesday night. Our broadcast game is Ridgepoint at Clements. Here's a big chop, and it goes foul. So our game last week between the Bulldogs and the Morton Ranch Mavericks was our first broadcasted game under the tenure of the new head coach of Austin Bulldog Baseball, Ruben Cano. 0-2 oh, the count, O'Quinn brings it. Doe just gets a piece to stay alive. 3-1, to one, Austin leading Angleton in the bottom of the fifth inning. It is a perfect day here at Bucolic Pheasant Creek, sun overhead, it's starting to warm up. 0-2, and Doe sprays that foul, it's gonna land out of play beyond the dugout on the first base side. Just beyond the left field fence here at Austin is the softball field. And it looks like they've got some expanded seating this year. O'Quinn brings another 0-2 and it's upstairs to Doe. One and two the count. O'Quinn rocks and fires. That's inside. And O'Quinn's really got some great movement on his pitches because his catcher, even the ones where they're not crossed up or anything, sometimes it just gets away. But that late movement is something that is truly valued by any coach at any level. Breaking ball lifted into the air in right field and having trouble with it for a second, but uh, not for too long was the left fielder Kay Dobbs. The freshman made the catch, two outs. Will Liner comes up for the dogs. You know, I may not get a chance to say my little story about Mark Sherman, the Bulldogs first baseman. You know, if, uh, if this goes the dogs way after six and a half. First pitch swinging down the right field, line by liner, a diving attempt, and it gets by Dobbs. Liner is going to second. He's going to keep on going, heading for third. Here comes the relay, and it is a little bit high, and he is safe at third with a triple. Will Liner sends one to the right field corner, and it was one of those perfectly placed hits where Dobbs went all out to try and make the catch. Got to applaud his effort. Didn't work out though. Now Harrison Golden comes up. Shortstop, Harrison Golden. 
Would be nice to have an insurance run. And remember, the Needville Insurance Agency can save you a lot of money on your car and home insurance. Call them at 797. I'm sorry. Start over. Erase that. 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. 1-0 pitch. In there for a strike. Not my style, said Harrison Golden. Ryan Dugas would be next if he can keep this inning going. 3-1 to one dogs as they bat in the top of the fifth. O'Quinn rocks and brings it. Outside corner called strike and it's 1-2. and two. A lot of encouragement coming out of the Angleton dugout. O'Quinn rocks and brings it. High in the air on the left side of the infield. Backing up is the shortstop. But it's going to be the center fielder instead. That will do it for your Austin Bulldogs in the top of the sixth. And before I go to break, I want to tell you who made that catch. I believe it's Callan Frazier. Okay, we'll take our break now and be back. Three to one dogs going to the top of the sixth. First Tire and Auto celebrates spring with the big tire sale. It is big, big, big. Buy three tires and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the high school sports fans as we cheer on all student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot, Office Max. Taking care of business. Want to thank the Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland, taking care of business every day, so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. James Garza on the mound for your Austin Bulldogs. And he is trying to finish up with these last two innings. Jackson Phipps leads it off for the Angleton Wildcats. Phipps, F-I-P-P-S. Garza ready to go. He's been looking over the top of his glove for a, what sounds like feels like a week. Now Phipps is in there, swings and hits one foul on the ground all the way down toward the left field corner. There's a whole lot of foul territory here at Austin, by the way. So uh, sometimes it takes a while to retrieve those foul balls. The count is nothing and two on Phipps. Garza rocks and fires. Breaking ball outside. I heard somebody say finish him. Sounds like. Karate Kid or Cobra Kai, you know. I'm a big fan of that. One, two, breaking ball just high. That was close. And the next pitch is kind of a wild one that goes way outside and bounces in. The count now three and two. 
So I must say, Jackson Phipps is really battling here, trying to give his team a shot. Now he hits one, and it is Golden, the shortstop, diving for the ground ball. He smothers it, but no way he can make the play. And so Angleton does get the leadoff player on to begin the top of the sixth. Now Jason Jones. Looking down at head coach Brian Lestraco in the third base box. He represents the tying run. James Garza has been strong all day, but he'll work with a runner on here. First pitch swinging, and it's a bunt attempt. It is bunted in the air, and it goes all the way back to the screen. Foul. Jason Jones ready, squares to bunt again, but pulls the bat back, and the pitch is outside for ball one. The Bulldogs lost to Katie Taylor last night, and then the day before lost to the Jordan Warriors 5 to nothing. Here's the pitch, and it's bunted down the first baseline, but goes into foul territory. The count is now one and two. So only now... Or I should say, now, only if Coach Brian Lestraco has the ultimate confidence in Jason Jones and his bat control when he is attempting to bunt, only if he has full faith and confidence will he have him lay down a bunt here with a count one and two. If it goes foul, it's a strikeout. So my guess is he'll swing away. Here comes the pitch. He does swing away and comes up empty. DeSega throws on down to Sherman at first, and they've got the runner hung up between first and second. Phipps is tagged out by Golden, and that will do it. Actually, it won't do it. I'm sorry. It'll be two outs, not three. I'm, I'm glad they're not uh, charging me, uh, you know, in the scorebook. with errors, because I've made quite a few. I try to jam too many game broadcasts into one day. That's just the way it works. All right, so Angleton had high hopes there, but now Reagan James bats with two outs and the base is empty. Takes the first pitch for a ball. Slightly open stance for left-handed hitting Reagan James. Let's it go by and it is high for a ball. And there's another pitch, a curveball gets in the back door there for a strike. By the way, uh, my producer back at the mother ship is saying, lost you there for a second. Well, uh, that was my fault because I left that mute thing on. Now you know, curveball tried to get in the back door but just missed in the count now three and one. Pitch on the way. Check swing and a five pitch walk. Angleton has something going. Reagan James goes down there to first base with a walk with two outs. Okay, Hayden Hibbets comes up. He represents the tying run. Here's the pitch. So I guess the Bulldogs are the beneficiaries of the strike him out, throw him out, then tag him out, double play. And that's why there are two outs. Garza brings it. Swung on, hard ground ball to shortstop. Golden fields it on one hop, fires to Sherman. And that gets the dogs out of that little jam that they were in. And we will move to the bottom of the sixth. Three to one, Austin over Angleton. Hey, Becky G, 
Can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds, faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi and other fast speed options. Get started with Xfinity Internet 50 megabits per second for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Plus, add Xfinity Mobile and you could save hundreds a year on wireless. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 331.22. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and X-Fi gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares optimized pricing of top carriers. Xfinity Internet required. All right, so let's see who is due up for the dogs this inning. I think it's going to be Dugas, Witt, and Sherman. Yeah, that means I can tell my little Mark Sherman story. Good to see you. Go, Wisconsin. <laughs> I bet it's colder in Wisconsin than it is now today. As of, uh, let's see, 2.20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Ryan Dugas stands in, the DH, batting for the pitcher James Garza, who I think might be able to complete the game. And now Bryce O'Quinn starts him with a pitch down low. Dugas, Witt, and Sherman do for Austin. O'Quinn rocks and fires. That pitch is way upstairs. So i got to make sure I get my story straight. for what I'm gonna tell you later this half inning. Strike on the outside corner to Dugas. Two and one the count. Dogs leading three to one. And he fouls it back and to the left. Two and two is the count. Dugas steps off and then right back on like uh, He's on a New York City subway platform. Pitch outside, it's three and two. And from what I understand, when you're in New York City, you really want to get on the subway car and get out of the subway, you know, get on, get off area. Well, it would have been ball four, but it hit Dugas in the leg, so it's a hit by pitch. Now Logan Witt, number seven. Don't know if he wears number seven because Craig Biggio was his favorite player ever. Can't be assuming things. All right, so now we're gonna have a little mound conference for Angleton. I don't necessarily think that they're going to pull Bryce O'Quinn. He's still pitching pretty well. And this is not Coach Lestraco, it is the assistant coach, Clayton Stewart. Short conversation. And they're gonna leave O'Quinn on the mound. Logan Witt, with the hair sticking out the back of the helmet, stands in from the right-handed batter's box. And O'Quinn, the right-hander, brings it. Bunt, back to the mound. O'Quinn looks at second, doesn't have time to go there, so he throws over to first base. Covering was Evan Farr. So we've got one out and an insurance run for the dogs. Out at second base, that is Ryan Dugas. So Mark Sherman comes up, the first baseman, and there's a hole in the left field fence here at Austin because he hit a triple earlier this week against Maid Creek, and it sent the Maid Creek outfielder through the wall. He ended up with a possible concussion, but nothing other than that, he'll recover. But that was exciting to see. Sherman swings and misses at a curveball to begin this play's appearance. 0 and 1. Dugas taking a fairly short lead off of second and the shortstop kind of sneaking in behind him. Here's the pitch, breaking ball, and that's at the knees. 0 and 2.
still a conservative lead by Dugas. Sherman got to protect the 0-2 on its way now. And he does make contact and fouls it off to the right side over in that spot where he made a spectacular catch just a few minutes ago. What wind we have is kind of blowing from the left field foul pole to the right. Doesn't really favor a right-handed power hitter. Ground ball on the left side, one hopper to the third baseman. He's gonna go to first with it, get the out there, and then they go back to first almost in time, but the ball squirted out of Conchola's glove. But that was a great play. Reagan James, the third baseman, came on and got it on one, half, one hop. Threw out Sherman and the ball came back across the diamond, but Dugas made it. So two outs and a runner at third as Greg Cuevas comes up. Lefty hitter, slightly open stance and the Angleton coaching staff's faith in Bryce O'Quinn can be well justified if he can get the out here. First pitch is a curveball inside and he gestures to his catcher to move the target a little more inside. The one and oh, and it's a pop-up going toward Reagan James at third. He's got it just beyond the grass in the middle of the infield. And here we go, and it's three to one, dogs leading, and it'll be the Angleton Wildcats coming up for their final at bat when we return on VipeFortBend.com. Well, it's not their final at bat if they tie it or take the lead. Okay, we'll be back. First Tire and Auto celebrates spring with the big tire sale. It is big, big, big. Buy three tires and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the high school sports fans as we cheer on all student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Golden. That is Mark Sherman, our public address announcer. You know, Mark Sherman, senior. Announcing that Harrison Golden, the right-hander, is on the mound for the Bulldogs to try and finish this one off. So taking his place at shortstop is Tyler Doe, who was at third base. And you've got Aiden Beer coming into the game for the first time, playing third base where Tyler Doe was. Cade Dobbs, the freshman, lefty hitter facing Harrison Golden will stand in. Angleton needs two to tie and three to take the lead. Slightly open stance for the freshman Dobbs who finished a game for Angleton earlier this week against Kempner and he'll try to keep Austin from finishing one here and the first pitch is way inside. He has to hop way back to avoid getting hit. Goes to the backstop and it's one and nothing. Golden from the stretch even though there's nobody on. Here it comes. And it's lined to left field and it will drop in front of Logan Witt. And the freshman comes through with a base hit. And that will bring the tying run to the plate. Evan Farr coming up. It's a wonder how they got that organ up there to the press box, which is pretty high here at Austin. Golden ready. Far ready. Here's the pitch. Oh, he put some hot sauce on that one, but it was outside for ball one. I guess they turned off the radar gun. That's okay. Far ready. Golden throws over. They almost got him leaning, but Dobbs dives back in safely. But Sherman... Does have a foot on first base over there. 
Golden delivers the pitch to Far inside, and it's 2-0. Oh. Maybe a little bit of nervousness on the Austin side. If Far reaches base safely, then you'll have the go-ahead run come to the plate. There's another pickoff attempt, and it slipped out of Sherman's glove, and I think if uh, Dobbs had seen that, he might have taken off for second and taken the double play out of the situation. But I don't think either he or Coach Clayton Stewart saw the ball trickle 30 or 40 feet away from first base. Here comes the 2-0. Farr sprays it foul. And it hit the branch of a tree. Wow, that, that tree looks like it's seen better days. Golden nods at DeSiga, his catcher. The count is 2-1. 3-1, dogs lead it. Lead off man on, nobody out. Top of the seventh. Farr takes a pitch high. And DeSiga wants to go out there and chat with Golden for a moment. So in their first week of district play, the Dogs will have the Travis Tigers. And then on Friday night, they're going to be at Ridgepoint, and we'll have that game for you. Bulldogs fans, we will have your game against Ridgepoint Friday night of next week, your second district game. But one thing I have learned that I need to do the high tower hurricanes don't stink at baseball anymore. They're he oh they picked him off. Golden threw over to first base. And Kay Dobbs is thrown out, leaning the other way. Sorry, I was in mid thought. That's that doesn't happen to Vin Scully, you know. Anyway, uh we're gonna have to start broadcasting High Tower Hurricanes baseball. They are 11-0-1. Okay, so Evan Farr now batting with the bases empty and one out, and the count is three and one. Golden brings it way outside, and it's ball four. So Golden gives up a single, but he is able to pick off the runner that was at first. And now look at this. It's Bryce O'Quinn who's gone all the way on the mound for Angleton today. And he has a chance to take himself off the hook as the losing pitcher. Courtesy runner for far, pinch hitting, pinch running for far is number three, Jacob Monocle. Okay. In case you didn't hear that, Evan Farr, who just walked, has been replaced by a courtesy runner. Jacob Monocle will run from first base. And now it's Bryce O'Quinn. Umpire wanted time for a moment, not sure why. Now time is back in. Golden looks over at first base. Monocle takes a short lead, pitch on the way. Outside, the Sega slides over to block it. One and nothing to count on Bryce O'Quinn. One and oh the count. Golden comes set, now brings it. That's a strike at the knees. And O'Quinn grimaced. I don't know if he grimaced because he didn't think it was a strike or maybe he's thinking I should have powdered that one. Another throw over, and as we've seen, Golden, especially for a right-handed pitcher, is very good at the pickoff move. And he was going over there to pick off Monocle. Here's the 1-1, outside for a ball. Golden is throwing smoke. I think you can hear the mitt pop. We need more cowbell. And for some reason, Monocle needs a different batting helmet. I guess that one fell off a couple of times. Two and one the count. Golden with the eye black. Right-hander comes set, looks over at first. Here it comes. Outside, and O'Quinn has worked it to a three-and-one count. Callan Frazier waits to bat next. 
and he will unless there's a double play. Golden with a deep breath, now delivers. There goes the runner, pitch is low for ball four. So it's not a stolen base, it's just a pair of walks. Left fielder, Callan Frazier. And now Callan Frazier represents the go-ahead run and we're gonna see Ruben Cano come to the mound. The dog's first year head coach. While he's out there talking to Harrison Golden, we'll talk about what else is on tap for Tuesday night, the first night of District 26A play. Our broadcast game is Ridgepoint at Clements, starting at 6.45 with the Batter Up show. Other games, Travis at Austin. You know, I think I said that Austin was going to Travis, and if I said that earlier, I apologize. It's Travis at Austin here on Tuesday night. Elkins will visit George Ranch. Dulles is at Bush. Foster is at Fulcher. And I'm not sure about the whereabouts of the Kempner game, the Angleton game. All right, here we go, Callan Frazier. Runners first and second, one out. Golden looks back at second, first pitch swung on and missed. Beauty of a breaking ball by Harrison. Frazier stands tall in the right-handed box. Righty working to righty. Breaking ball and it's down. So you've got Doe and Cuevas, the middle infielders kind of pinching in behind the runner to try to make sure that uh, he doesn't take too big of a lead. Here's the 1-1. Strike on the outside corner and now Frazier's gonna have to go into protect mode. Matthew Uribe is due up next. One out here in the top of the seventh. Angleton down by two. Foul tip, and it's caught by DeSiga. Foul tip, strike three. And now Angleton is down to its final out. Matthew Uribe, the catcher, comes up to the right-handed batter's box with the game on the line. So many times you see that foul tip on the third strike and the catcher can't hold it, but DeSiga did the job. The pitch, down and away for a ball. Senior catcher, Matthew Uribe. Harrison Golden comes set, looks back at second. Pitch on the way and fouled straight back. Would have taken somebody out if there wasn't a fence there. Uribe in the pressure cooker situation with a 1-1 count. Downstairs, 2-1. DeSica keeps it in front, so we get a force still at every base when the dogs need only one more out to get out of this with a victory before district play starts. Golden looks back at second again, brings the pitch, swung on and missed, it's two and two. And now Angleton is down to its final strike. Golden shakes off one sign, shakes off two. Now he's got the one he wants. Comes set and brings it. High in the air, this should do it. Going out is the shortstop Doe, coming in, oh it dropped in! It dropped in! Logan Witt made a diving attempt. One run scores and it is three to two. Meanwhile, over at third base there was a little bit of a collision. Nick Etheridge is now running for Angleton. Nick Etheridge came around second and he got the stop sign from Coach Lestraco. So Callan Frazier is at second. He represents the go-ahead run still. And now it is up to number 13, Jackson Phipps. A single to the outfield could very well put Angleton ahead. Harrison Golden takes a deep breath and now he's ready to pitch from the stretch 
Sometimes people go with a windup when it's runners at second and third. The pitch to Phipps. Ugly swing at a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. He steps out, now back in. Phipps ready. Golden brings it. Breaking ball right down Pheasant Creek Boulevard. And it's strike two. And now Coach Cano wants to come out and talk to Golden one more time. I guess uh, it's not two mound visits equals a pitching change. But sometimes when you're down to 0-2, do you want to interrupt the pitcher? So it is Coach Cano in the red hoodie. All right, here we go. Cano is leaving the field, and the count is nothing and two on Phipps. You know, that might be like icing the batter. Maybe it will turn out to be a good idea for the dogs. Golden tugs at the cap, looks in and gets the sign. DeSiga setting up outside. Here comes the 0-2. Phipps takes a pitch and just missing. It's one and two. Gutsy take as sometimes in the high school game you have the expanded strike zone. The unwritten. Okay, it's one and two. Golden ready to bring the next one. Here it comes. It's in the air to right field. It's going to hang up. Liner under it. He's got it. And the dogs win. Woo, that was kind of a nail biter there at the end. We'll be back with the totals right after this on VipeFortBend.com. Hey, Becky G, can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds, faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi and other fast speed options. Get started with Xfinity Internet 50 megabits per second for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Plus, add Xfinity Mobile and you could save hundreds a year on wireless. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 331.22. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and X-Fi gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares optimized pricing of top carriers. Xfinity First Internet required. First Auto celebrates spring with the big tire sale. It is is big 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 buy three tires and get one free the rubber hits the road with great savings for all the high school sports fans as we cheer on all student athletes head to the website firsttireauto.com and claim your savings make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in sugarland and cinco ranch all four stores open on saturday firsttireauto.com archer volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. All right, here we are back at the doghouse, Austin Bulldogs home in peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek where everything is wonderful except there's a hole in the left field fence. And that's because Mark Sherman hit a long drive against Maid Creek and the Maid Creek outfielder really smashed into the fence. But anyway, that was a few days ago. Now let's talk about today's win over the Angleton Wildcats. 
For the Wildcats, two runs on six hits. They made two errors and left six men on base. For the Austin Bulldogs, three runs on four hits, no errors, and they left four runners on base. The winning pitcher, James Garza, he's a Saturday winner for the second week in a row. And the save goes to Harrison Golden. Got a little bit dicey there in the top of the seventh, but he finished it off. And a tough luck loss for Bryce O'Quinn of Angleton. He pitched very, very well. And I think Angleton is going to be in pretty good shape in their district race. They will be able to contend for a playoff spot. Now it's the Austin Bulldogs in District 26A who want to make sure that they get that done. In other action today, by the way, want to uh, let you know that we broadcasted the early game that started at 10 a.m. Elkins losing at Shadow Creek 9 to 5, and that's the reason we didn't start this one from the very beginning. I drove as fast as I could. All right, so we have taken care of business for all of non-district play in Fort Bend ISD, except for one thing, we got to include the Hightower Hurricanes on our broadcast schedule. They have risen from completely irrelevant and pitiful to really strong. And, uh, you know, I probably should have seen this coming, but I didn't. So uh, just know that we're going to be working Hightower into the rotation. For everybody on the Vibe team, this is Roger Smith. So glad you joined us for this little slightly less than a full game game between Austin and Angleton. Our coverage brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome, by First Tire and Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations. All of them open Monday through Saturday. Go to firsttireandauto.com for the best prices on tires, for the best in service, anything that you need to keep your car, your vehicle running at its very best. We're also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen. They've been open since 1956. They're just inside the Sam Houston Tollway on the southbound side of the Southwest Freeway. And you will feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen. Stop by and tell them thank you so much for supporting our broadcasts of Fort Bend County Sports. And finally, we're brought to you by the Needville Insurance Agency. And you know what? You're gonna have uh, more drivers in your family. Some of you out there, you're gonna have teens who aren't driving yet and preteens who eventually will. It is so hard to insure teenage drivers, especially boys, and that's nothing against boys. It's just all about risk. It does cost a lot, and with everything else costing so much these days, you need to go to Bradley Stavenaugh and the Needville Insurance Agency. They can help save you money, not just on your car insurance, but also on your home insurance. So give them a call at 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. All right, so we're going to be talking to you on Tuesday night, Ridgepoint at Clements, as we break the seal on the broadcasts of District 26A baseball. Who's going to get into the playoffs? Will it be the usual suspects? Will it be someone that we haven't seen in the playoffs in a while? That happened in boss in in basketball with the Clements Rangers. It could happen in baseball. So thank you very much for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and enjoy your spring break. If you're out of town, you can take vipefortbend.com with you. Again, our final score from right here in peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek, the Austin Bulldogs three and the Angleton Wildcats nothing. Goodbye and we will talk to you on Tuesday.